In this video, we'll be going over document NAV underscore 011 PM reports. So please make sure to have this out as we go through this video. I'll be covering five reports. We'll be going over how to display plant maintenance orders, the project component overview, scheduling overview list, project purchase requisitions, and then finally, the maintenance scheduling overview. So this first step will begin on page six, but to start, we'll log on to the system by clicking on the SAP icon here and entering in our user ID and password. And once again, this will be in the dev environment. Okay, so on page six is where we'll be starting here and we'll be going over how to display plant maintenance orders. And transaction for this will be IW39. So we'll enter that in the command box here. In this transaction, there is a lot of data that you can choose from to view in the report. So you can see as I scroll down, there are more and more fields coming up here. So we'll go back up to the top and we'll just be looking at company code 1000 in this report. So we'll enter that in right here. And we'll go ahead and execute with that being the only input on this transaction. So here we can see all of the different plant maintenance orders for company code 1000 and click description of each one of these codes. In addition, we can click on this change button here, which will switch back and forth between change mode and display mode. And when we click this, we can see that these two buttons come up here. And these will allow us to either release an order or we can choose to technically complete an order. And that's done just by clicking on one of these gray buttons here, which highlights the line, and then clicking on either one of those two buttons. In addition, we can also drill down by double clicking. So we'll drill down into this first order right here. And here we have all the information about this particular order, everything that was input, and you can also change a lot of information within this once you drill down within here. And so we can change our long text. We can also change work centers, dates. We can go through these different tabs, add extra line items to this um, maintenance order, as well as a variety of other different information that you can enter in here as well. And then to go back, you can just click on this green button and then we're back here in the order screen here. And so again this began on page 6 and on page 11 there's some homework to complete regarding this particular transaction and I'll pause a moment before moving on to the next transaction. So this next transaction we'll be looking at the project component overview and this begins on page 12 and the transaction for this is CN52N. Remember to move to a transaction from another transaction, we'll enter in this backslash N. That's just telling the system, yes, we would like to move to that transaction, so we'll hit enter. And this will bring up the project component overview. And there's a lot less criteria to enter in here. For this, we'll just take a look at project E54 which is the Allen Billiet E54. And we'll go ahead and execute that. And this will allow you to view plant maintenance orders for particular boats or barges. So as I just showed you, this is just being run for all of E54, and we're taking a look at all of the different plant maintenance orders for that particular boat. You can do this for any boat, or you can also do this for WBS elements, so you can run this for barges or anything within the boat project. 
So again, this will be on page 12, and then just on page 13, there is some quick homework for you to complete. And I'll pause a moment before moving on to the next transaction. So the next transaction will be the scheduling overview list, and this will be transaction IP24. And similar to the first report, there's a lot of different fields that we can enter in here to direct our search results. In this case, I'm just going to run this wide open so I won't enter any information. I'll just hit the Execute button. And here we can see the scheduling overview for all of plant maintenance here. You can scroll down. You can also drill down in this report as well just by clicking on any of these line items. And I'll double click on this one right here to drill down. And here we can see the original order that was created. We can see that this is a plant maintenance, maintenance order for this particular item on this particular piece of equipment and so on. We can see a lot of different information here by drilling down. So this is the scheduling overview list. There's homework on page 17 regarding this report. And I'll pause a moment before moving on to the next report, which is the project purchase requisitions. So the project purchase requisitions transaction code is ME5J. And this will allow you to look at purchase requisitions per project, per WBS element, or throughout any of these other different criteria. We can look at different PRs by plant, document type, etc. And for this, I'm going to run this open again. So I'll delete this information here that automatically populated the fields. But if I wanted to, I could look at a particular boat or barge. But running this wide open, I'll look at all of the purchase requisitions within the system. Oh, I apologize. We'll be looking at one project, actually, since you cannot run this wide open, which I believe would just bring up too many search results. So we'll just look at the same boat here, Project E54. Go ahead and execute this to take a look at all the different PRs for this particular boat. And again, you can look at this by <clears throat> boat or barge or any other WBS element. And scroll down, look at all the different PRs for the E54 Allen Billiot. And so again, this began on page 18, and then on page 20, there is some homework for that report. And I'll pause a moment before moving on to the final transaction. So the final transaction will be the maintenance scheduling overview. And the T code for this is IP19. And this is just an overview of all of the different maintenance that's been scheduled. And we'll look at a long range of dates. So we'll start in January and we'll go all the way through July. And that will be the only things that we enter in this transaction here. We'll go ahead and execute. And we'll click the screen check mark here. And so here we can see all of the different maintenance that's been scheduled for these range of dates that I had entered. We can open up the legend here to see what these different icons mean. So we can see that in February there was one that was completed. And then we have about 10 others that are called and then in June and July, we have two orders that are currently on hold, as indicated by the red square right there. In addition, we can click on this maintenance plan simulation to take a look at what these plans pertain to. So we can see that this engine slash gear plan only has one. And that will be, we can actually leave the legend open here, only has one 
plan that's been called, and that was in March. And we can do that with any of these other maintenance plans as well. And this is nice just because it lays it out in a Gantt chart type graph. So again, this began on page 21. And on page 24, there is some brief homework to do regarding this transaction. So that concludes the video for the PM reports. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to email us at info at sap-bmc.com.